The Sargent's Charitable Foundation Interventional Oncology Suite is the cornerstone of a new interventional oncology department at Chris O'Brien Lifehouse. Interventional oncology is actually a new kind of emerging pillar of cancer therapy alongside medical and radiation and surgical oncology and now immunotherapy to offer faster ways of treating patients with a minimally invasive approach. This is the first dedicated the interventional oncology department. Interventional radiology is a broader approach, but oncology, we're still treating multiple organ systems, but all focused on cancer. And the overseas experience from Japan has been that the real strength of these hybrid imaging labs is in treating cancer. So this interventional facility is only the second of its kind in Australia, and it's the only one of its kind in this new generation. This is a multimodal imaging lab which allows us to perform image-guided minimally invasive procedures under a combination of ultrasound and geography, which is x-ray and CT guidance. It's really exciting to have all three in one place. Having the ability to switch between angiography and CT is pretty new. It's really only been happening at a few centres in the world. That's what's really unique in this suite. One of the places in which interventional techniques have really found their space is in liver cancer. We can travel through the arteries directly up to a liver cancer and either treat in a very targeted manner chemotherapy or radiotherapy just focused to that liver tumour itself or if there's multiple tumours we can kind of shotgun throughout that whole side of the liver. So very focused delivery can be obtained to the liver tumour and a relative sparing of even the liver itself let alone the rest of the body which is completely spared from the therapy uh, almost. So uh, there's a big dose advantage and toxicity advantage for the patient in delivering the therapy right to where it needs to be and to nowhere else. Other areas where we do find a fairly good potential application is in the treatment of kidney cancer. But there are also applications elsewhere, like ablation for lung tumours is, is definitely finding its feet as an alternative to surgery and radiotherapy. And there are uncommon applications for transarterial delivery of chemotherapy to lung tumours or sarcomas, tumours in odd positions. And so I'd encourage patients, if they do have these type of cancers, to just have the conversation with either their GP or their specialist to say, hey, is there a minimally invasive option for me? Like for instance, delivering treatment through the arteries or burning or cooling the tumours with a needle. Because it's worth asking the question. We can always um, review the imaging and say, no, it's not appropriate. But if someone never comes into the office, they never have an opportunity to um, seek interventional treatment. I'd love to see that applied to many more forms of cancer. We need more innovation and more evidence, and that's gonna only be collected by pushing the boundaries in a safe environment, in a team environment with our surgeons and oncologists, and put out some quality research to show what we're doing makes a difference. Chris O'Brien Lifehouse is currently leading the way in some innovative therapies, you know, for example, a big sarcoma and head and neck unit, and I think that there's an opportunity for us to lead the way in interventional treatments as well, and establish the new frontiers of interventional oncology. With all life, but especially with cancer, every day is precious. As an interventionist, I really like what I do because patients recover quickly and they don't have a lot of pain. And I think this dovetails nicely in with Chris O'Brien's patient-centric focus. It's exciting to think about treating cancer and actually getting a complete response on the cancer and doing it with the patients having minimal downtime. Back doing something they love or spending time with their kids really quickly after the procedure. Or delivering a treatment ideally that's going to kill the tumour or, or drastically delay its progression. If we can do any of those things, I think we're offering the patient hope. That's the dream and that's uh, what I'm really grateful to our sponsors, Sargent's Charitable Foundation, for um, providing such an amazing donation to allow us to get this cutting edge lab.